Hello everyone, hopefully you're doing pretty well today. My name is Deborah and welcome to my channel Crafty Talk and Creations. Today I thought I would do a project using some fabric and a doll rod and make a cute Americana flag with strips of fabric. Now uh, this fabric, I, obviously I've got the red, white, and blue fabric and I'm going to cut it into strips. Now the doll rod I have here is about, I would say, 13, 14 inches long and attach the strips of fabric to it. And I also need some jute twine, so that way I can tie it on either end, that way I can hang it on a door or indoors on the wall. And um, the fabric quarters I'm using that I got from Joann's, I'm, first of all, I'm gonna be using the length of the fabric for the, uh, the red and white strips. They measure 18 to 21 inches long. So yeah, I'm gonna use the length of the fabric for the red and white stripes of, or strips, I should say, of fabric. And I'm going to cut them, I would say, about I would, one and a half inches wide. And the blue, I'm going to cut anywhere from a half inch to maybe three quarter inches wide. And it's really quick and easy to do. All you need to do is you get your scissors. And you can measure if you would like to. I just kind of eyeball things. And you just start cutting and starting a strip of fabric. Now, I cut, I would say, about five or six strips. You may need more or less, depending on the length. And then you just grab it and you just rip it and then you've got a strip of fabric just like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to cut my fabric into strips and then when I'm done I'll come back and show you how to put it together okay now that I have all my strips cut got the white strips I've got my red ones at least the ones I think I'm going to need and the blue ones now the blue ones when I the fabric I went the shorter length versus the longer length because I don't need a very long strip for the blue all right now you need to do is I'm going to alternate this red and white now my fabric has a print on one side so I'm going to use now you need to do is just fold this down I would say maybe about four inches next to your white or your red strip there same process you just alternate it you leave a little bit of a tail on there you've got that loop you see that loop there and then you just grab your fabric and pull it through the loop and you're going to have a bunch of these frayed strings you can cut those off if you like to and then you just tighten it up your fingers like over here and then just kind of tighten it up and then you can kind of swoosh it all together now some of these might end up being different lengths that I'm fine with that I think it add, will add a little bit to the rustic charm there but you could trim yours if you would like to so I'll show you that again I'm gonna grab a red strip here fold it over make a loop on the top basically about four inches Place it next to your stripe, your, your other piece of fabric. I keep saying stripe, I meant strip. You've got your loop in the back. You just grab your piece of fabric, pull it through that loop. Put your fingers here and just kind of tighten it. That is pretty much it. Now if you have a, a tree branch, you could use that also and just kind of stick it together there. Scrunch them up. And I'm going to leave about an inch, inch and a half on either end of my dowel. So that way I've got room to tie my jute twine so I can hang this on my door or, or my uh, or a wall wherever you like to, to hang this. All right. All right I'm going to continue to do this until I get to the blue part and then I'll be back. Okay, now that I have my red and white 
strips of fabric on my dowel rod. I did spread them out a little bit more because the stripes kept wanting kind to, to kind of overlap a little bit and there's a few gaps so I did spread it back out. Now I am attaching the blue strips of fabric. Now these are smaller, I would say a half inch to three quarters of an inch and I'm folding it in half. I'm going in between the red and the white stripe. Hopefully you didn't see that. Same thing and I'm just pulling the ends through that loop and I'm just kind of pulling it tight a little bit and then you do that and do that in between these I think this is going to turn out really cute. Okay, I don't know why I want to go under. You got to go over with your loop in between there. Okay, my red one's kind of, my white one's coming loose. There we go. And then thread or pull it right through. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing this. I used about 10 strips of the uh, blue fabric to make my blue field. So I'm going to continue doing this, and then when I'm done, I will show you how to tie on the jute twine, and we'll see how this all looks. All right. Okay, now that I have that on there, I think that is absolutely darling. Now you obviously have these little extra strings. You can trim these off if you'd like to. You're welcome to do that. But it's going to add to that little, little bit of frayed and little charm look. I think that looks so cute. All right, so I'm just going to take some jute twine here. Really easy. One here, and I'm just going to tie a knot. I'm going to wrap it around a couple of times just to make sure it holds in place. You can add a little glue if you want to uh, keep this, and you can glue your strips if you would like to. But you might want to take them off and use them for another project. But I think this is something really cute you could do. Oops, I almost cut it off. Um, let me see. I don't want it to hang too, too. Oops, there we go. I will help, help hold. I don't want it to hang that, that low. Or, yeah, that far down. All right, and I'm just going to cut it off right there around there, tie a knot on this end. I'll do another one just to be on the safe side there. yourself a fabric strip Americana flag and you can embellish this if you have like a, some little stars or a little saying or something like that you could use that I think this is absolutely adorable I hope you like this project it's something relatively quick and easy and you enjoy your day